Well, hello again, everybody. Mental Fox here. Thanks for joining me again on this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, I said we were going to head back to Skyhold and uh, speak with uh, Solace because after the last quest, he left our party. I guess he went off to Sulk or something. It was the quest where uh, we were supposed to save one of his friends, the spirit friend, and things didn't go well. His friend died, and so he left. And uh, I want him in my dragon slaying team, so I need to go back to Skyhold to uh, to speak with him. And there he is. Awesome. Inquisitor. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's uh, have a little talk with Solace here. Um, I am glad you returned. How are you, Solace? It hurts. It always does, but I will survive. Thank you for coming back. You were a true friend. You did everything you could to help. I could hardly abandon you now. You better not. Where were you? Where did you go? I found a quiet spot and went to sleep. I visited the place in the Fade where my friend used to be. It's empty, but there are stirrings of energy in the void. Someday something new may grow there. What is death like to spirits? What happens when a spirit dies? It isn't the same for mortals. The energy of spirits returns to the Fade. If the idea giving the spirit form is strong, or if the memory has shaped other spirits, it may someday rise again. So, it isn't really dead? You're saying your friend might come back? No, not really. A spirit's natural state is peaceful semi-existence. It is rare to be able to reflect reality. Something similar may reform one day, but it might have a different personality. It would likely not remember me. It would not be the friend I knew. Well, that's sad. I'll let you get back to work. All right. Thank you again. Okay, so that's what Solace had to say about the um, quest that we, we did for him. Uh, now we are back in good old Skyhold. Um... And as you know, what we do in Skyhold is we visit with our uh, War Council friends. So let's go check in with them. We'll check in with War Council. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is... Uh... Would you such a pair? Oh, they talked about me? Yeah, I know. I'm standing right here. Of course. I'm just standing right here. I mean, just really, r literally right next to you. Uh, I'm just going to pick my Alfred while it's available because, you know, I'm always looking for Alfred. I acquired Alfred and I received Alfred. All right. All right. Alfred. Blood Lotus. Alfred. I wonder why it's telling me twice. I, has it always done that? Alright, War Council. I got some meeting to do with you. So, we're gonna meet. When I say so. We meet. When I say we meet. Not a minute before. Whoa! There you are. Here I am. I've been looking all over for you. I've just received the most terrible news. Uh oh. What is it? I'm engaged. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, start from the beginning. I sense this is complicated. Tell me more. <sighs> for the past year, my mother and father have searched Antiva for a match for me. They had no idea you and I had grown so. Today, I received a letter declaring they've betrothed me to Lord Adorno Cielo Tranto of Antiva. I must deal with this. But until then, we cannot be seen in a compromising situation. I'm so sorry. Uh, this doesn't mean you're leaving me, does it? Are you saying we should act like nothing has happened between us? No, no, not at all. But it is not right that we carry on while I am betrothed. I must break off the match first. 
Hey, I never said we were going to get married. Um, yeah, sure, I understand. Let me know what I can do, Josephine. Because I'm very, very understanding. No. Thank you so much, but no. Until I know more, I cannot risk a reputation. Why did this have to happen to us now of all times? I must see to this. And to my other duties. If I can keep my mind on them today at all. <laughs> Boy, she... <laughs> She looks beat, man. Let's see if she's anything else to say. No, it doesn't look like a... Okay, can I talk to her? Or not? Yeah. Inquisitor, I'm Ooh. afraid untangling my engagement to Lord Otranto will take some time. Of course. Is there anything I can do? Yes, Antifa. The only acceptable thing to do would be to challenge him to a duel for my favor. Really? Maybe I'll find some gossip on him since I have this perk. Every family has scandal. I'll find something to persuade Otranto to break off the match. Please, Inquisitor, no. If Otranto found out, he'd challenge you to a duel. So what? The traditional form of dueling among Antiva nobles isn't usually fatal, but there's always a chance of harm. I hardly wish to see you skewered on a sword point for the sake of my honor. Oh, an unexpected engagement. Go to the war table to challenge Otranto to a duel. So I have to challenge him to a duel? Is that really like my only option here? What does the world come to? I never meant for it to get that serious. Alright, I summoned the war council. Get your butt in here. All right, let's see here. We got Exalted Plains resources. What kind of berries did you pick for me there, Cullen? Oh, some Viridium and Andrastian Throne Accessory 1. Yay! I can make my throne look different. Wonderful. Here in Ferelden. Diverting soldiers in the Frostbacks. Correspondence sent by Messenger Bird to Commander Cullen from Sister Paulette. Your help arrived just in time. My sisters and I have seen the soldiers safely to Ferelden. I cannot express what this means to all of us. Maker's blessings upon you and your rescuers. From Lieutenant Kestrel, Commander, we've lost the Red Templar's trail, awaiting further orders. New operation unlocked. Thanks from a Chantry sister, and for whatever reason, we received Maker's Bride cameo. Again, do I need to keep this crap? Is this worth anything? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, an offer from the Crows. With your knowledge of the Venatori and the Crows' intelligence on Enzo, I tracked down a storehouse just outside the city. I hope you didn't want us to leave any of the Venatori alive. Sadly, Lord Enzo was not present, but he may count his life in days. To show we respect our current arrangement, an interesting trinket from our raid on the Venatori, Gita. And we got a Masterwork Mabari grip. Yay! <clears throat> so... Uh, we have some new, um, missions that have shown up here. And actually, if I remember correctly, there was one, even one up here in Arlay. Yeah, this one here, Stop War Between Navarra and Tevinter. Um, let's see, what's up with this one? Uh, so Josephine is the only person who can do this. Inquisitor, both Tevinter and Navarra were fighting against Venatori entrenched along their border. The battle showed no signs of abating until the Inquisition sent soldiers who pulled victory out of a seemingly insurmountable defeat. Hey, that's what we do. Both sides have attempted to claim this portion of land in the past, and both are attempting to do so again. Only the presence of our soldiers prevents them from beginning a war. We cannot allow this to happen. For the moment, each side is grateful enough to listen to our advice, and we must convince them to send their armies home. I will press on both sides, call upon favors to do this. Ambassador, Ambassador Montelier. So she says, I fear the situation between Navarra and Tevinter will deteriorate. We must be persuasive, divisive, and swift. Well, why don't you do all three of those things, Justine? At your service. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> At my service, yet betrothed to someone else. Um, challenge? Oh, gosh. I don't know, man. Should I... Oh, okay, so these are okay, so these are two different I'd rather try to gather some information on him. Let's try that. Send agents to find out information about Josephine's arranged fee arranged finance. It's her, her arranged finance. In case you were curious, she, it's a financial arrangement. It's not a it's not her fiance, it's her finance. 
Lord Otranto, before dueling him in Valrayo, Lena says, Well, well, is Lord Otranto of interest? I will gather information about his family that may be useful. Now, the other thing to do, I'm guessing these are mutually exclusive, challenge Josephine's fiancé to a duel. Not his fine, not her finance of fiancé this time. Josephine's parents have betrothed her to a man named Lord Otranto. Challenge him to a duel where, if he loses, he'll break off the engagement. Colin says, I suppose I could send one of my people to issue the challenge to a duel if that is your command. No, I don't want to do that, man. I ain't, I'm not going to duel him. We're going to do this this way. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to find some dirty info on him. Let's yeah, what that's what we're going to do. And Cullen. <clears throat> Thanks from a Chantry sister. Invest Inquisitor Trevelyan. You may not remember me. I stayed at Skyhold for a time and later accompanied some injured soldiers to Ferelden. Our journey was more perilous than expected, and I only live to write this thanks to the aid of the Inquisition. I have little to offer, but if I may help the Inquisition in some small way, you have only to ask Sister Paulette. So Josephine would have said, I could arrange to transfer Sister Paulette to the Chantry in Denerim. Having a reliable ally in the capital's Chantry could prove valuable. Liliana would have said, Sister Paulette showed bravery and kindness in staying with the injured soldiers. She has already done more than was asked. Let her remain with her fellow sisters in peace. Colin says, Some soldiers in Crest Crestwood wish to establish a place of prayer at the keep. Sister Paulette could as assist. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. Let's give him something to do other than right. collecting berries. Okay. Awesome. Another successful visit to the War Council Room without the game crashing on us. So, uh, I am now going to uh, quickly run into the Undercroft and just sell off some stuff real quick. I'll just take a second. Let's just, just take a second. I uh, just want to get rid of some unneeded inventory before I head back to, um, um, you know, you know, before I head back to, you know, how does this work? Storage. Can I put stuff in it? Inventory, storage, destroy, inventory, deposit. So this is stuff I have in my inventory. Okay, so I could deposit here instead of selling it, I could put it in here, I guess. All right. Well, I guess, you know, I guess it's not a bad idea. Like, um, if I have a weapon or something or armor or something that is like too high of a level for any of my parties to use, I could just store it in here and then come back and get it um, later, you know, when I'm of that level. That way I won't take up uh, inventory slots. But uh, right now I think I'm okay with selling off some, um, some uh, valuables. Yeah, like, you know, do I need to keep this? I just don't know. I mean, I, I got this in a, um, I don't know. I don't need that, do I? Uh, and I have some stuff that I need to turn in. Oh, whoops. I have some stuff I need to turn in to the, uh, research lady. So, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I, I don't need this. Why is this thing worth so little? I mean, this thing's badass. Why is it only worth four? I don't know. Uh, I don't need that. Or this. And I certainly don't need that. Or that. Or that. Let's see, let's start from the top. It's a little easier to navigate. Well, yeah, we'll just get rid of all this crap. This is all like low level stuff that I have no use for. And it's just taking up space in my inventory. Uh, do I need this Templar Greatsword? Uh, I don't think I do. Okay, that gets me down to 40. And then uh, as far as, th I don't, I don't need this, and I don't need this, and I don't need this. And I don't need this, 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 and I don't need this. Okay, that gets me down to 32. Which, uh, this is, I'll never use this, and I'll never use this. Um, and I'm not going to worry about these. Amulet of Power, who's this for? This is for Vivienne. I need to give this to Vivienne. And then this other stuff here. I'm good. Okay. 27 is not too bad. Um, let us go to... Well, let's let's look at Vivienne first. And um, 
we will give her this amulet of power so she levels up one. Vivienne. Accessories. Right now she's wearing an amulet of magic. Amulet of power. There you go. And we'll give her the amulet of magic back. Okay. That gets us down to 26 inventory. And now we look at our mappity map. And now we go up here, fast travel here, so that we could uh, turn in some creature research items. Which is downstairs. Research shadow essences. Come on, I had more stuff than that. Ooh, I'm almost ready to level up in influence. Damage bonus against demons. Gurgut teeth removed too. I mean, do I just have to stand here and wait for her to research this stuff? Is that what I'm doing? Seems weird. Do I get anything for the Gurgit teeth or not? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Do I? Hmm? I thought I had more research items than that. Um. Hmm. Gurn gallstone charm. I guess I don't have any more research items. All right. Okay. Fine. Be that way. Alright, so if we look at our uh, inner circle, okay, we have this to deal with, which I am, I think I'm dealing with it. Uh, and here, to finish this one, we'll need to go to the Admiral Graves. I haven't been there yet. Uh, so, back in the Hissing Wastes. Uh, no, not the Hissing Wastes. Um, what the heck was I? Exalted Plains? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so I wanted to head back to the Exalted Plains. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I remember now. So let's look at our map. Let's look at our world map. Uh, Exalted Plains are right here. And we are going to travel... What is this place? Fort Ravisan, okay. Uh, we could travel here and then go across this bridge. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take uh, my dragon fighting team with me. Iron Bull, Solace, and Vivian. Right? They're my dragon fighting team. So, I'm not going to fight the dragon right this minute. Um, if you saw the last episode, you'll know that uh, there's a dragon out in this area. No, over here. He's over here. But to get there, it's a long trek. I, I mean, the only way I know how to get there is to go to this camp, go all the way through here, go into this cave, go all through it, come out, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's a long trek. So I'm going to go this way and see if there's a way to get around it from here. I don't think there is, but I'm going to try it out anyway. So we are going this direction. Oh, let me go ahead and level up Vivian. So, she's all maxed out in her things as well. Um, what can I give her? Yeah, she's maxed out in Night Enchanter. She's got some freezy stuff here. Um, well, she has this. Let's just max it out. Alright, that's gonna be great. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing? So there's the bridge we're going to go across. That's how they fixed it? I I do not approve. That is, that's pretty crappy. Really? That's the job we did? Sheesh. Come on. That's, that, that looks crappy. That looks crappy. Look at this. Look how cheap this looks. We're the Inquisition for crying out loud. That's the best we could do? Come on. Uh-huh. Did you build this? Huh, did you? Not even gonna answer me. Insubordination. Tell you what, man. It's pretty over here. So what is this for the Empire go to Citadel de Kubu for? What's going on exactly? The bridge to Citadel de Kubu has been repaired by the Inquisition. Selene's forces were stationed beyond the bridge. And have not been seen since it was destroyed. Okay, so we're looking for Selene's forces. Wow, look at that. 
That's pretty neat. Well, there's some Embryum over here. I wouldn't want to miss the Embryum. Still don't know what the hell the Embryum's for. So let's see if there's anything interesting down along this uh, riverbed besides Embryum. It's a noisy little river. Yes, let's see if there's anything over here. Ooh. Looks like uh, some ramparts up here or something. I'll go up and check that out here just a minute. Alright, that doesn't go anywhere. Northern ramparts. Did you see that move I just did? That's 20 of 21 regions. Alright. 